Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, yes, it is the time. It is time for OXO 2, the sequel, the follow-up to one of the most legendary jailbreak tweaks of all time is finally amongst us. This is OXO 2, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to step through quite a few of the features found in OXO 2, showing you exactly what it does. It builds on iOS 7's implementation of the app switcher, lovely, beautifully. Um, you're gonna see what I mean here in just a second. Now this view that I'm displaying right now is called a multi-center view and it contains, or it basically combines the app switcher from iOS 7 and control center from iOS 7 into one handy view. But there's a lot more than meets the eye here. You see, you can obviously swipe up to dismiss applications, but you can also swipe down in order to bring the app of your choice to the forefront. So unlike the app switcher in stock iOS 7, you can actually swipe down and it does something worthwhile, which is really cool. Uh, nice animations, very smooth animations, and you're gonna hear that word smooth or fluid tossed around quite a bit in this review. Now, if you swipe up on the first home screen card, you will see a close all apps option. And notice in the background of that close all apps option, you have all the apps lined up in one single row, which is really cool. And th those are the actual app cards lined up. You can see the details at the bottom of the app. And that's how you can close all the applications out in one fell swoop. Super easy, super simple. Now you'll also notice these uh, volume and brightness knobs here. And these are actually taken from another jailbreak tweak from A3 Tweaks called Axel, and that was for iOS 6 only. So just a nice little side note there. So now let's venture into the preferences for Axel 2. Right off the bat, you'll notice three toggles. The first toggle is for multi-center, and that allows you to basically merge the multitasking and control center like we showed you earlier. You can enable that or disable that if you want to directly from the settings. Then it is quick switcher. This is actually, in my opinion, the flagship feature of this tweak. And last but not least, you have hot corners, which allows you to return to the home screen by swiping up from the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. And it does other things depending on what toggles you have enabled or disabled. Now let's also briefly touch on the uh, creators of Auxo. It is designed, of course, by Sentry, and now it's being developed by Cusick. The original Auxo was developed by Jack Willis, so there is a change in who developed the actual tweak and I think Cusick did a, a pretty good job on this. So no no worries here about the uh, tweak falling off because it no longer has the same developer. Um, Cusick did a very fine job as you'll see during this review. Uh, let's talk about the quick switcher though because that really is the flagship feature of Auxo 2. This allows you to swipe up from the bottom left hand corner of your device and then swipe from left to right to switch between your apps. And once you land on an app that you actually wanna launch, you release your finger just like that. So simple, so easy, so seamless. And really, you could see why that is, in my opinion, the flagship feature. You can easily just scroll through any of your recent apps, release, and launch your app just like that. And what makes it so special is it's one motion. You swipe up, you continue to hold your finger or your thumb on the screen, and you swipe over and just release, just like that. So you're not double tapping on your home button. You're not performing a bunch of taps or a bunch of different gestures. It's all seamless and one single gesture and it's amazing. I love this part of it. Now you probably noticed that the uh, switcher was limited to six app icons at once, but now if you enable unlimited, you can you can scroll through all of your recently used apps just like that. So unlimited is enabled. You can find it in, in the uh, settings for Auxo 2 and you can easily switch between all of your recently used apps just like that. And seeing a, a preview of this feature is one thing, but actually using it is a whole nother thing. So let's talk about hot corners now. This allows you to, if you swipe from the bottom right-hand corner, um, you can actually dismiss any app and get right back to your home screen. And again, that hot corner is assigned to the bottom right-hand corner of your device. Now, if you swipe from the bottom middle, that will open up the multi-center. And if you swipe from the bottom left, that'll open up, of course, your quick switcher. Uh, so you have the basic three different zones here, bottom left, bottom middle, and bottom right. And you can actually change the, the behavior of some of those hot corners uh, by disabling certain aspects of the tweet. So for instance, if you disable multi-center, uh, you see that the text changes for both quick switcher and hot corners as to what each will do. So you can change the behavior of certain aspects of this tweak 
just by disabling and enabling certain features. So uh, you saw the, those the text dynamically change. You'll also find that the text changes in the options as well as you enable and disable certain features because, well, Oxwell 2 is just smart like that. Um, so let's check out some of the other really cool features like minimal display, for instance. You notice that it's a little cluttered, I guess. I won't say cluttered, it's a little crowded in the uh, multi-center view. But if you turn on the minimal display, you can actually hide certain aspects of this. Oops, sorry. You can reveal them by using swipe gestures. So I hid the, uh, the airdrop in the airplay section and I just messed up there. Sorry about that. Let's go back here. Um, I hear the, hid the airdrop in the airplay section here by using minimal display. You can also hide the track scrubber and choose from different scenarios when minimal display will be enabled. Now there's another option here that's really cool. Open the last app. Now this is really good if you're switching between two apps and you need information from both apps. Now watch what happens when I invoke multi-center. You see it goes right back to the calculator, right back to the calculator as the first page. If I switch over to the settings, it goes right back to the settings as that first page to select. Now, when I enable open the last app, it'll go to the last app that I had open as that first page. So watch what happens. Swipe up, show settings there. Swipe up again, it'll show calculator. So it switches between the two. It mimics the uh, same action that you get when you double press on the home button, basically. Um, so that's a nice feature to have. And next you have quick launcher. Now these are the quick launch shortcuts like for a flashlight and for calculator, timer, et cetera, that you see at the bottom of your control center. And basically you could change the way these behave when media is playing or when no media is playing. You can make them do not display at all. You can make them auto dismiss. You can make them display. And of course, if you want, you can always swipe up to reveal the quick launch if they are, if they are hidden and you can have auto dismiss there as well if you want to do that. So. That is the quick launcher and you can change the behavior of your shortcuts there. Now the unlimited uh, quick switcher we already showed you earlier, let's talk about invert hot corner. So basically this allows you to switch the sides of the hot corners in the bottom right and the bottom left hand corner. The only caveat to that is that will disable the quick switcher. So I really just can't recommend using that. I really just don't see the point because the quick switcher is like the flagship feature of this jailbreak tweak. It is the flagship feature of OXO by far. Uh, the other features are nice, but the quick switcher, you just need that, trust me. And then last but not least, you have disable an application. So you can choose to outright disable OXO when using certain applications, which is extremely handy if you're playing a game where there's lots, lots of swipe gestures and you always end up invoking OXO. You don't want to do that. You want to have it disabled and uh, you can do it using that option in the settings. You can also make it happen, make it disable whenever a keyboard is invoked. So that is a nice feature as well. So also too, folks, this is a ridiculously good jailbreak tweak, but we're not done. We're not done. I want to show you something else. Another one of my favorite features actually, and that is when it comes to playing music. Now, when you're playing music, obviously you have your uh, media controls in, in the multi-center view, but did you know if you tap on the name or the song info, it'll show you the album art right there, front and center. It'll actually replace your uh, app switcher with the album art, which is really cool. And you have the, of course, the colors and the blur and all that goodness. And you can actually swipe. You can perform swipe gestures right on the album art to switch between songs. And folks, not only that, if you thought that was crazy, even if you're using iTunes radio, you can scrub iTunes radio songs. You normally cannot do that in the stock music app, but here you can scrub backwards and forwards while playing a song using iTunes radio. That is really cool. That is almost a feature, you know, worth having by itself, let alone all the other features that also too has. But if you're a big iTunes radio junkie, then uh, yeah, that's a very valuable tweak. I don't think any other tweak in existence, at least now, uh, does that. I'm sure someone will come up with their own standalone version of that in the future, but that's a cool option to have there. So ladies and gentlemen, I mean, what more do I have to say? What more do I have to say to convince you that Oxo 2 is absolutely worth your money? If you already have purchased Oxo 1 in the past, if you already own Oxo 1, the original Oxo, then the price of Oxo 2 is only $1.99 on Cydia's Big Boss Repo. Now, what if you're new to the game? What if you didn't have Oxo in the past? What if you just got an iPhone and you just jailbroke it with your iPhone 5S? Well, Oxo is only $3.99 for you guys. And it works with a variety of firmware, even older firmware, older devices. 
Uh, I think you're going to be ple pleasantly surprised by what you find with Auxo. You have the quick switcher. You have the multi-center. You have the uh, album artwork. Uh, you have the ability to scrub in iTunes radio. You have the ability to disable app, uh, Auxo 2 while using specific applications. The list goes on and on and on and on. I mean, there's so many features packed into a small package that, you know, you just have to use it to understand what I mean. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm interested to hear what you think about Auxo 2. Does it live up to the hype in your opinion? Will you buy it? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.